Okay, well, it finally came from the uh, our neighbors to the north, Canada, and this is a uh, tripod leg support. I've got a C gem mount, and I'm looking to uh, give it a little more stability. And you, as you know, the legs uh, with a lot of weight that can kind of spread out. And I was looking, thinking of making something to give it a little bit more support at the bottom. And anyway. So far, this is looking pretty good. Mm. Took about a, about a week. It's delivered to South Dakota. I believe he uh, makes them himself. Uh, Dave Yates. I'll give you his uh, website. And shows the different uh, mounts that you can apply this to, but uh, it's all aluminum. It's hollow in there, but it's pretty heavy gauge and it's light. And then these are the other components. This just seemed like a great way to up, you know, to give the mount a little more stability. There's nothing like having a solid mount. Here's another one. Really nice finish to it. Nothing feels rough, you know, it feels like it's been kind of milled pretty good. No, no rough edges, you know, like you can cut yourself here. This has been kind of uh, probably rolled over just to taste on the uh, edges. You know, when you can get something like this already made and uh, made very well, uh, heck, you know, just go for it. So let's open these up. And now this one, open it up a little bit more. that and then give it a turn and you can see then it clips in and now you put the other nut in it's pretty simple which I like the simpler things are the less likely that things will go bad and I'm assuming you see this collar right here I'm assuming you just put it straight down at the bottom so that they're all the same at the same level uh, the other thing I tried to keep in mind you see the spacing here um, I tried to keep that spacing similar to over here on the other side so that it's uh, kind of clamped evenly on both sides and not, you know, kinked in on one side and that would tend to turn the bolt, you know, that's going in there maybe on a slight angle. It fits really nice. He has them for different size, different kinds of mouth. There's for the Atlas, the C-Gem, and one other. But when you get online to check his site out, you'll see it. So far, so good. Okay, well, I got them all on and... Uh, now we'll put the spider uh, on each one of these uh, rings. Take one of these nuts with the uh, nylon for a lock, putting it through. There's no washers, uh, but because of the holes are milled, you know, so good, you know, right, right there, I don't think it's necessary. It looks like I'm gonna need a little uh, wrench. So we're gonna put these together here. Now, I think you don't want to get that too tight because remember it's got a pivot in there. Now that seems to be good. And then assemble the spider first and get this to where this will turn now. Open the legs up all the way until they see against the top of the uh, tripod and then tighten the rings down. That way they'll seek their own uh, center you know, wherever they need to be, they'll be. So, so far it's, you know, like I said, I'm pleased with the quality. Uh, and we'll put this together and see how it performs. I don't work for Dave. I'm not affiliated with him in any kind of way. Like I said, he's from Canada. And uh, so you Canadian compadres up there, you'll be able to get it, you know, right in your own country without having to come to the States. Okay, there. Now it's pushed down and man, it, this is sweet. I, I gotta tell you, this really looks good. I mean, this this is something, I believe the C-Gems, now they have another uh, grade of mount that they, they put a spider on the bottom. And when I first got the C-Gem, I always felt like, you know, daggone it, you know, they should have did a little something for that bottom because that plate that's up at the top, I mean, that just doesn't provide enough, you know, support. And uh, as far as I was concerned, because the 
bottom of the legs can spread. So I was really thinking all along I was going to do something out of plywood and but you know you can do that and but then there's comes to a point in time where it kind of looks a little hokey and uh, you know I wasn't really looking forward to that. Okay now I'm going to tighten the rings up and uh, don't want to over tighten them because like I said it's aluminum and you could strip those out. You could do this without removing the head. I removed the head because I wanted to put it up on the bench so you guys could see it, you know, and what this was like. Just about done. And that's it. Oh man, I'll tell you, this looks good. This is good. And then the nice thing about it is that you could still collapse your, your legs. And a real professional looking. I mean, you know, the guy, he makes a great product. I got to tell you, I really like it. Simple, uh, very well made, and effective. You just push it down, and then you're locked. And you're solid, man. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Clear skies. Take care.